the drug problem in Afghanistan is getting worse. The farmers, they have a choice of two crops. They can do the legal crop or they can do the illegal one, the poppies. If they do the legal one, they sell it. First, before even selling it, it's much harder to grow it because of the, the landscape. You can not use tractors because the land is very small. Um, lots of stones, lots of things that makes uh, planting very, very hard work. And in the end, when we come to selling, the price, well, it's the price of potatoes and the price of uh, maize and the price of wheat, uh, well, is the normal price of normal uh, stuff. On the other end, if they plant something they have been planting for centuries, which is the, pop, the opium poppy, it virtually takes care of itself. It grows, you don't have to, to do much to keep it growing. After you have to, in the harvest, you have to work a bit to extract the opium, but it's not, I mean, it's work. It's not like they do nothing all day now. They have to work, but it's the kind of work that they can do and the kind of profit that makes it worth for them to do the work. So, we expect them to stop planting what they've been planting for centuries, lose uh, money and uh, have to work harder, just because in in the West, in our countries, we have a problem with uh, drugs. And so we decided that the solution is to stop it there, where they, they grow it. Well, I don't agree with that, and the farmers don't agree with that. And that is the problem. That's why, uh, since the, the occupation of uh, Afghanistan, the poppy is growing and growing and growing much more than in the time of the Taliban. And why? Because they have this way of making money and or they have to starve. Because there's nothing else to do there. So, what about if our government went to the tribal leaders and proposed them that they themselves would buy all the crop, all the production of opium that they did for the whole year. They could not sell to anybody else. But on the other end, they didn't have to worry about uh, raids uh, done by the military where all the crop was destroyed. And they would make their money anyway, because uh, for us, the price they, they charge is not expensive. You see, it's not like the prices uh, that are charged here in Europe for the heroin. There you, the opium is very cheap. The government could buy it all, stop the black market straight away in one blow, pow! <laughs> and then, he had, having all the... the, the opium, they could do what they wanted with it, they could even just destroy it, but they would have the control of the problem for the first time since they've been trying with the war on drugs, very expensive and not very much sexual. So why nobody think of trying this new way? It's not, uh, nobody would lose on it. And uh, I believe there is big chance of winning. So, YouTubers, tell this to everybody you know that can maybe make a, a difference.